everybody, sorry that this video has taken a little while to make and upload than usual. I've just been feeling a little bit uninspired with making videos, wasn't really sure what to film and also I've been quite busy with my photography work at the moment. So I finally had time to sit down and think about what to film and this suggestion to make this video was by Yvette who asked if I could make a video about the photographs, the instant photographs that I use in my journals. So I use two different instant cameras. I use this one which is my Instax wide camera and I also use this one which is my mini instant camera which is called the Instax Mini 8 and it's just in this Christmas um, protective case at the moment. So the first camera I got was this one and I got it specifically for a college project that I was doing at the time. Uh, and I found it fantastic for lots of different shots really except for main, like except for close up shots and selfie shots it wasn't good for either of those however I found that the Instax Mini 8 was a lot better for close up shots and selfie shots they are both obviously different sizes as well so I will compare the two sizes for you and I also found it quite tricky to find a traveller's notebook size that would work well with the size of photographs if that makes sense i'll talk a little bit about that in a minute but first these are the these are two shots this one didn't work um it just i was too close to the subject i was too close to the flower and i didn't have the little close-up lens that comes with it although that's not particularly great anyway this is just a little photograph of my cat that i took of him after his operation um so this is the mini shot and this is the wide shot. The mini shot actually works out roughly the same size as a business card, I believe. And it is about half the size of the instant wide photograph, as you can see there. So both of these are great for different things. Um, and what I found with my journals is that obviously A5 fits both of these shots fantastically. Narrow only fits the mini photographs on the pages. I've actually found so far that the size B6, which is this size, is perfect for both of these shots and I will give you an example. So this is one of my December daily pages that I started in November. <laughs> but this is, as you can see, one of the wide photographs that I've put in there and it fits perfect and there's plenty of room to write around either side as well and it will also fit in a photograph widthways like that and this I've actually made specifically for mini photographs as you can see there that fits in perfectly and this kind of size photograph will fit any which way that you want, like so. So B6 size is perfect for either of these size shots. Like I said, narrow wasn't good for the wide, it was for the mini. A5 is perfect for both. Pocket size is perfect for the mini, but again, not the wide. So it kind of, uh, you kind of got to think what size journal you're using and what size shot is going to fit on your pages. Okay, so I'm going to talk a bit about why I chose Fujifilm instead of Polaroid because obviously Polaroid, I guess, is a little bit more well known than Fujifilm. So while I was researching instant cameras, I noticed that Polaroid cameras are super cheap on eBay. You can get them at great, fantastic, really cheap, super prices. Um, secondhand, obviously, because I, I believe that they don't actually make Polaroid cameras anymore. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they actually make them. But they do make Polaroid film. So the cameras are super cheap for Polaroids, but the film is pretty extortionate to be honest and the shots really aren't good quality obviously that's not a good example really quality wise um, for Fujifilm but the quality of Polaroids aren't very good that the images often come out very washed out very overexposed and I guess if you like 
that kind of look then that's okay and that's great um you can go and do that and use polaroid cameras but i wanted uh, the as better quality as i could get really so that was one of the reasons i went with fujifilm and also the cameras for fujifilm are more expensive than polaroid cameras because they're still in production uh you know people are still using them and wanting them and things like that and they're a little bit more trendy at the moment but the film is a lot cheaper so i get my instant mini 8 photographs from the web website instantfilms.co.uk and i will link them down below they are the cheapest that i have found um and they are 12.99 for a pack of 20 this is a pack of 10 i got this um from ebay but for a pack of 20 it's 12.99 from instantfilms.co.uk and the second cheapest website i found is amazon and for instant wide photographs it's again the same the cheapest website is instant films and then the second cheapest is amazon but i regularly use instant films and i've never had a problem with them they are fantastic their service is great so i do recommend those if you want the cheapest option which is usually what i always go for so really in the long run because of polaroid prices it works out cheaper to get a fujifilm camera and use fujifilm fujifilm film um then go down the polaroid route which is the main biggest reason why i went with fujifilm as well of of course as well as the quality of course of the film and the images so i've showed you um some shots of these in my b6 and i'll just quickly show you some in my a5 just to give you a visual idea so this here is just a selfie of my boyfriend and i and that is the a mini shot so you can see there's just there's loads so the a5 is such a big size there's a lot of room on the page left when you use one of those I'm trying to think if i've got any wide photographs in here no i don't believe that i do but yeah um here's another example this again is the instant mini 8 photograph and it fits in perfectly as a business card in these business card slots hope i'm making sense on this guys um, if you've got any questions i'm not sure what i'm talking about just um post them down below and i will always get back to you Um, I think I've got an instant wide shot at the back of here actually. Yep, so here is again an instant wide photograph and just for reference this is an A5 Traveller's Notebook and you can see if you stuck that on the page there you would have a lot of room left to write which is what I would prefer than to have not a lot of room to write and just a huge photograph taking up most of the room. So recently I have actually been thinking about looking into HP Sprockets which is an instant printer, it's not an instant camera so I believe you, I'm not sure if it's Bluetooth or if you use a wire or both but you connect your phone to the printer and with whatever photograph you have already taken you can print it out so i guess that is something to look into as well if you're interested in that it's something that i have thought about but after doing a uh, very minimal research i noticed that a lot of people were quite disappointed in the quality but those people might not have used instant photographs and i mean instant photographs are lovely and i absolutely love them i think there's something really special about taking a photograph and the photograph coming out of the camera straight away there's just something very magical about it um but the quality obviously isn't perfect and it won't be because it, it just won't it can't be it's instant you know <laughs> it's not got time to um to be a perfect quality photo they just don't work that way so this kind of thing isn't great if you want perfection anyway but i just love them i think they're so handy to have especially the instant mini 8 it's just a very portable size um it's great for your journals i highly recommend it 
I think they're really fun just to have around at parties or at Christmas time, now that Christmas is coming up. It's something that I want to use in my December daily journaling. I just think that these are so fun to use. They are great to use to document your life and your moments, to document your memories and put them in your journal to keep. They are so easy to use as well. Um, I mean, if you need to use any tutorials, there are plenty on YouTube for you to look at. If you were to ask me to pick a size, I think I would go with the Mini 8, just because... At the moment it's probably my favourite size just because I think the shots are so fun and small. I think they look really cute in your journals and also um, they fit in more journals than the wide size does. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I think it was last night I actually hit 400 subscribers which I think is fantastic considering I've only been filming since this summer so thank you so much to each and every one of you who has subscribed, who watches my videos and who likes and comments. So thank you everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye! Mm -hmm.